And now, a page from our Sunday morning almanac, October 9th, 1888, 123 years ago today, the day visitors were welcomed into the Washington Monument for the very first time. President James Knox Polk laid the cornerstone way back on July 4th, 1848. But because of funding problems and the Civil War, the monument wasn't finished and dedicated until February 1885, three and a half years before it was open to the public. Built primarily of marble, the Washington Monument stands exactly 555 feet, five and one eighth inches tall. That is 896 steps. Come on in. Hello. Of course, most people take the elevator to the top, where relatively small windows provide spectacular views. The view of the monument from ground level is pretty spectacular, too, thanks to its central location on the National Mall. Maintaining the monument has provided some remarkable sights as well. In 1999, it was enclosed by scaffolding for a comprehensive rehab job. And just this past August, security cameras caught visitors shaken up by the East Coast earthquake. Barred from the monument as a precaution, tourists have had to content themselves with the sight of inspectors rappelling from dizzying heights looking for damage. They've identified areas that may need further examination, but the monument is structurally sound. Though closed for now, we can remain confident that just as surely as Washington's cherry blossoms will bloom again, the city's namesake tower will reopen as well, as tall and as strong as ever.